Hello Internet, I'm Mihai, it is part 29. In the previous video I deployed the new code. Today I will execute that code. Open the browser and make sure the server is not running. It's not running. I will also check the systemd service status. Build with parameters, systemctl status, node.js backend app service. Build. It failed and it failed because the service is inactive. To start the service, I need to update the pipeline shared library repository. Open it. It is pipeline shared library repository, main branch. Open the file call systemd service. Copy the case stop. Past it and rename it to start. In the line 21, I will replace stopped by started. Very good. In the assert service status method, open it. Create a new case. It should be started. I will copy the value from line 21, past it in the line 37. And now move the error down into the else block and move the echo up into the if block. So if the service is active, I will print a message in the logs that systemd service is started. And if the service is not started, Jenkins will throw the error systemd service is not started. The assertion is ready. Now in the line 19, I need to call not the stop service, but start service. Let's create that method in the source CICD OS systemd service file. Create a new method. It is public void start service deployment configs job instance shell script and label. The label will be start systemd service. And the script will be sudo systemctl start in curly brackets service name. The start service method is ready. I will call it. In line 19, I write start service. That is it. Check git changes. I created the method start service. It is good. Here I created the case start. Apply the changes. And I created the assertion started. Also apply the changes. It looks good. Write the commit message. Edit start systemd service functionality. New line, start node JS backend app service. Commit and push. It was pushed. I need to update the pipeline repository. Open it. Open deploy app Jenkins file. At the end, create a new stage. Stage. The stage name will be start node JS backend app service. Set the timeout for one minute. I will just copy the timeout from the previous stage, paste it in my stage, write one minute, create the steps and script block. Now scroll up to the stop service stage. It is this stage. Copy the content of the script. Scroll down to the new stage, past the content. And here in the line 223, replace stop with start. Stage is ready. Check git changes. I created a new stage. It is good. 
apply the change, write the commit message, create it, double quotes stage. Here in double quotes, I want to pass the stage name. I pasted it, new line, start, node.js, backend, app, service. Commit and push. I want to run the pipeline, open Jenkins. Check again, the service is stopped. Go to dashboard. Open the pipeline. Build with parameters. Source branch is main. Build. Let's wait. The pipeline finished. It is the new stage. Start Node.js backend app service. Check if the server is running. Refresh the page and the server is running for 21 seconds. Open the logs. Run number 23. Scroll down to the end. Here is the stage start Node.js backend app service. Timeout for one minute. It called the command sudo systemctl start service. It slept for five seconds. Checked if the service was active and it was active. Jenkins printed the message systemd service is started. And the pipeline finished with success. Check the service status. Build with parameters. Systemctl status. Wait, it succeeded, open the logs, and it called systemctl status node.js backend up service, and it is active. Open the diagram, make the stage white, and it is all. Now Jenkins can deploy and start the new code. Thank you for watching.